What is cracking guys? JP here again, bringing you another update of my 90 gallon reef tank. So in the past couple days, we had some major or severe weather uh, that passed through us and my location. My location is Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And although we didn't have any tornado, we did have some high winds, you know, uh, hail and some heavy rains. And with this tank being at my parents, as of right now, you know, I only get to see it once a week. And I just gotta make sure after the storm, everything's running okay. So I'm here at the my parents' house and everything looks like it's doing good. Uh, there was a few hiccups in the timers because I think we had some power outage for probably a few minutes maybe we'll see uh, but my dad does have a whole house uh, generator built into the house so that's a good thing after the derecho storm uh, he finally installed that uh, a year ago so everything's doing good uh, coral wise everything's doing good there's a coral that did fall over right here and start getting eaten by the <laughs> recordia it's like ah crap that's okay I have more <laughs> uh, everything's going well really really nice really really fast growth so far I'm excited to go to my local frag swap next week or this weekend uh, yeah blue green chrome is still living there So let's get to the testing. All right. So today I tested May 8, 8.7 DKH down from 9.3 and then 4, uh, 475 calcium. Nitrate is about 20 to 30, I would say. Pretty good. That's okay. It looks red right there. But if you put on a, on a white light, it looks more like 40. <laughs> That's okay. I haven't dosed any nitrates. I think it's just getting fed from the fish food. So, uh, doesn't really matter. I feel like there's something going on too uh, with the coral consumption, my theory though. Uh, but yeah, magnesium I didn't test because it expired from last year. So yeah, not doing that. <laughs> uh, what I noticed today is... A few timers was kind of off the timer. So currently right now I don't have any controller, I don't have any smart switches or any Wi-Fi. I just have these regular old timers. And some of these, they usually have a built-in battery for memory or some kind of memory internally. And the older ones, they tend to go bad. And you know, I have some really old ones or some, cra or some crappy ones. And right now it's about 9.15 and I realize like why is that just turning 7? Because this one is okay. That's 9. And some are still going on 7. It's like holy crap. These are really off the, sh uh, off the timers. Uh, how I notice is my male halides usually turn off at 9. And then the T5 will turn on at 8.50 till 10. But then suddenly I was doing, doing my testing and the tank just turned off. Like, there's no blue, there's no light, it's just dark. I'm like, what the heck? Turn, looked over here. I'm like, that's on Sunday, today's Tuesday, uh, Monday, so that's definitely off the charge. And then I realized down here too, uh, my dosing containers for calcium is like halfway more, uh, more than my alkalinity. So I'm like, something's not getting dosed either. This is leaking or the timer is wrong. And I look at the timer, you know, this is a really, really old timer from my friend. Just click program. I'm like, uh, there is no program at all. Ah, crap. <laughs> so, whoops. So I did the test right away and it's all okay. <laughs> it's been only a couple days or a day or so, so it doesn't hurt the tank. So I'm going to be resetting some of the timers, uh, resetting to them to 
back to normal. And yeah, that's the uh, little hurdles with having no crazy controllers, just regular timers. So, yeah. Uh, like I said, the tank didn't really skip a beat. Still going on pretty strong. Um, let me just turn this off because it's throwing my uh, camera uh, temperature. I can't adjust the temperature on the camera, which is kind of weird. On a picture, just picture, I can adjust it. But yeah. I know, I'm just getting overrun with frags. Maybe I'll make like a frag pack locally for like beginners if they're trying to start out with salt water. And then just have like like this bird's nest, this milk astylo, uh, setosa, mint pavona, the really easy SPS. Uh, and then have it for like 20 or $30 for like five uh, frags. Might be a pretty good deal. Like maybe this frag here and a frag there. So we'll see. And this bird's nest. So yeah. Might as well share some love, right? Now it's gonna be local only. I probably won't. I won't do shipping because shipping is kind of crazy. It's probably not the best. <laughs> Sorry for the people out there who wanted some frags from me. And this red Monty definitely. So like maybe a thirty dollar frag pack for five or six uh, frag. Easy, easy SPS, and then maybe an easy LPS like this hammer, L, uh, this bird's ne uh, bird's nest, green star polyp. Mm, once my torches may grow or the frog spawn may grow, like forty for five pieces or these ones too. So yeah, I never know, especially in these uh, hard times, you know, with all the inflation and stuff. Uh, definitely nice to bring back or give back to the community. Alright, well that's it for the updates. Thanks for watching and happy reef keeping. Adios.